Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft 1.14. This will actually work for pretty much any Minecraft version, but I'm going to be using it for 1.14 today as that's the newest version that just came out. I'm also going to be going over exactly how you can get Java and make sure you have the correct version of Java because if you have the wrong version of Java, you won't be able to add enough RAM to Minecraft and it can really mess things up, so we're going to go over that in this video as well. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Dustin. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected in Minecraft server running Minecraft 1.14, running any Minecraft plugins you want, running any Minecraft mods or mod packs that you want. Apex has tons and tons and tons of one-click installation mod packs from FTB to Stoneblock to all sorts of different mod packs. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below for an incredible 1.14 server or any other Minecraft server you want. The link is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So if you can play Minecraft and you're good to go and you're already launched in. The first thing we need to do is figure out how much RAM you can actually allocate to Minecraft. And to do that, go on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in System Information. And see right there it is, System Information. Click on that and it will open up this. It's not pretty, but it gives us what we want, our system information. So at this point, go ahead and write down or open up a notepad document and make note that you have an X64 based system. Now the only reason we need this is if you can't add enough RAM to Minecraft. If you have an X64 based system with X86 Java, it won't work. You won't be able to add more than four gigs to Minecraft. You actually won't be able to add more than really about three gigs to Minecraft. However, if you have an X64 based system, we just need to get you the correct Java. But we'll talk about that a little later. So go ahead and make a note of what system type you have and then come down here to installed physical memory. See this installed physical memory? And this is how much RAM you actually have. You actually have it over this. As you can see, it says installed physical memory RAM. So this is how much RAM your computer has. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, but you might have four, you might have eight, you might have 16, you might have 12, you might have 20. There's all sorts of different combinations of RAM that you'll have. But go ahead and make a note of this because we don't want to add more than that amount to Minecraft. So that's that's important and that's why we went here to find it. Now if we go ahead and close out of this or minimize it, we can come back to the Minecraft launcher. So this is just the normal default Minecraft launcher that you normally launch Minecraft out of. Once you're here, go ahead and click the three lines up here in the top right and then click on launch options right here. When you click on that, it will take you to this page where you want to click on the advanced settings button here. See that? Click on advanced settings. Please note, this enables changing Java settings. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and add a new profile. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It is our 1.14 grief protected survival server. We've got incredible custom skyblock as well. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com for an incredible Minecraft 1.14 experience and just an overall incredible Minecraft server experience. So nevertheless, once you've named it, you also make sure the version you want to play is selected. Like I said, we're doing this for 1.14, so we can just leave that. However, you can change it to whatever version you want. For resolution, I'm going to go ahead and change that real quick. You don't need to, but I'm changing it just so you can see once we get in game. But what we want to focus on is JVM arguments. You see this little checkbox next to JVM arguments here? Click on that. And then there's XMX. To G or XMX whatever it doesn't necessarily it might not be 2G but there is XMX and then a number and then it should say G and what that means is XMX 2 gigabyte right so Minecraft is currently running with 2 gigabytes of RAM here so if we want to up that we can up it to let's say 4 gigabytes of RAM or you can up it to 8 or you could even up it to 16 but you never need to run Minecraft with 16 gigabytes of RAM vanilla Minecraft usually won't use more than 3 gigabytes of RAM so if you run it at 4 gigabytes of RAM you should be fine with that being said though if you have like 8 gigabytes of RAM you don't need to add more than 75 percent of your RAM so in that case it'll be around 6 gigabytes would be the the max you could add if you have eight gigabytes of total RAM. For example, I had 32 gigs of RAM, so I could add like 24 gigs or something like that with no worries, but at the end of the day, you're never gonna need that for Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft will run on four gigabytes, no problem. Modded Minecraft might need up to eight gigabytes. Now, there are some mod packs out there that have like over 300 mods, and those may need 10 gigs of RAM to run. But you can never have more RAM dedicated to Minecraft than you have installed in your computer. So you can't add 10 gigs of RAM if you only have eight gigs of physical memory installed 
That's why we check that at the beginning. So I would again recommend no more than 75% of your total RAM dedicated to Minecraft and really and truly never more than eight gigabytes. I'm gonna go overkill. I'm gonna go ahead and add eight gigabytes here, but like I said, most of the time, four gigabytes will be plenty. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click save, come back over to the news tab here, and then click the little green arrow next to the play button and then click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile you created, the best Minecraft server in the universe, and then click play. Now, at this point, Minecraft should open up. However, if you have any issues launching Minecraft, if you can't add more RAM to Minecraft, if we get in game here and it doesn't work and for some reason the amount of RAM you added isn't there, you need to download the correct Java. So remember, the system information right up here at the top. There is system type. And we have an x64 based system, which means we have a 64 bit operating system. 99% of PCs out there today are 64 bit. However, if you have an older PC, if you're running on maybe like even trying to run Minecraft on like a Raspberry Pi or something, in that case, you wouldn't have a 64 bit system. You have an x86, which is actually a 32 bit system. So if you go to the description down below, you'll have this link, the breakdown.xyz slash Java. And this is an in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for the correct version. It actually goes over how to figure out what version you need, x64 or x86. So go through this tutorial. It goes through the entire process here. And then once you've done that, install Java and you should be able to add more RAM just like we did at the beginning of this video. Now at this point, Minecraft is open here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on multiplayer and go to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Launch right on into here. We do have 1.14 survival. It's absolutely incredible. So once we're in game here, I will show you how to test your RAM. It's actually pretty simple. All you wanna do is hit F3. So just hit F3 and boom, right up here in the top right, you'll be able to see how much RAM you have. So as you can see, we have eight gigabytes, which is 8,100 megabytes. If you convert that to gigabytes, that's eight gigabytes of RAM there. And as you can see, we are using one gigabyte, one gigabyte max, that's what we're using. So not bad at all. And as you can see, it got, it got up to like 1,200 and then jumped back down. Like I said, Minecraft will never use more than four gigabytes of RAM for vanilla. It just, it just won't do it. However, if you're running mods, you will need more than that in RAM. So nevertheless, that is the video. That is how you can dedicate and add more RAM to Minecraft. If you do have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. We are more than happy to help you out. We have tons and tons and tons of tons of tutorials on the way, in addition to awesome Let's Plays on our 1.14 server. It's a bit of a preview here, but nevertheless, if you have any questions, again, let us know in the comment section down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I'm just going to chill by our campfire here, and I'm out. Peace.